fish on. It's big. I do not have the gear to land this fish, dude. There we go. Okay, dude, my bobber is actually gone. We have a fish on. Dude, now that he knows what's happening, he is really mad. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be fishing a brand new spot to see what I can catch. Let's go. All right, I found this spot through fish brain. It looks really cool. The water is pretty muddy, but it's divided in half by this bridge. There's a spot over there with a feeder, and then there's a big open area over here with no feeder where I think the water is a little bit clear. On fish brain, it says there was catfish in here and some bass. So I brought some catfish dough and my bass lures, and we're gonna see what we can be catching. I guess we'll start with this spot first. Go. All right, bass rod is ready. Rigged up with the black and blue bandito bug. First cast. <gasps> Fish on. It's big. No way, dude. We're, we're hooked into a big fish right now. Oh my god, it is a big bass, dude. Oh my god, it's a big bass. Holy crap, oh. I didn't bring a net, dude. Come here, dude. Yes. yes, oh my god, that is a big bass, dude. <gasps> dude. I think I snagged him. Here we go. How big is she? Three and a half. Dude, thank you so much for biting my bandito bug or getting snagged by it. Thank you, dude. Thank you so much. See you later, buddy. There are some absolute beasts in this pond. I was only fishing for about 10 minutes and I caught a three and a half pound bass. We're gonna keep fishing, see if we can hook into another one because that was insane. All right, so funny enough, my PB bass was caught on the golf course right on the other side of those houses. So I think that all the big bass maybe got flooded in here. Another thing that's in that pond where I caught my PB bass is really big alligator gar. Well, not really big, probably like three, four pounds. But if, those, if this bass is in here, then there could totally be some big gar too. There we go. Oh, another bass. Dude, whoa, this guy is, come here dude, dude, why do they keep doing that, they like, they thrash around so much, there we go, it's a big one right there, uh, let's go back and get my flyers and see if we can get this thing out of his throat, first let's weigh you, just cause I'm curious, Two point one pounds. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. I'm gonna have to cut it. I don't want to kill you. There we go. Another really nice bass. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Oh shoot! You're coughing up a lot of blood there. All right, buddy. Whenever you're ready. Oh no. 
We've already caught two really decent bass with the bandito bug. Unfortunately, one of them got hooked in the throat and when I cut the line and put it back in the water, he did not swim away. So I gave him the best chance. I tried my best to revive him, did everything I could, but unfortunately, he did not make it. It's sad, but it's part of fishing sometimes. Just tested out the catfish bait. I'm not entirely sure there's catfish in here, but there's no point in not leaving it out there. something on. It's not really fighting that much. Small little bass. Bass number three. Let's go. Nice. Third bass of the day. Let's go ahead and put this guy back. Ready whenever you are, bud. There he goes. Got a word there for a second, bud. Um, I just looked over at my rod, and my bobber is gone. Okay, dude, my bobber is actually gone. We have a fish on. So, It's all the way over there. Well, anyway, we have to leave, so I'm gonna reel it in. Oh, there's something on here. There's a fish on here, dude. Dude. Oh my gosh, there's a fish on this catfish rod. It's right in front of me. <gasps> it's a big gator gar. It is a big gator gar. Oh my God. He's going dude, he's going. He is going. Holy crap. I do not have the gear to land this fish dude. I thought it was a turtle, dude. It just felt like I was just reeling in a log on the bottom. Dude, on multiple occasions, I looked over at my rod and the bobber was gone. And I was like, oh, I have a fish on. And then I would start running toward it. And then I would look back over it and I could spot my bobber. This guy must've been on the entire time just sitting there, dude. Dude, now that he knows what's happening, he is really mad. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Buddy. Buddy, come on, dude. Buddy. There you go. Put him in free spool. I'm going in, dude. Hey, buddy, open up. I can think this is a gator gar. Got her. Let me check, see where the hook is. Out! Ow! Ow! Ouch! Mm. Not good. All right, I am bleeding a lot. I gotta get this guy back in the water and get out of here. But this guy is insane. He's super heavy. There he goes. Cruising away. 
All right, everyone, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Today was insane. I caught an absolutely massive gar and a big bass. Got my hand chomped by a gar. That was not fun. But I definitely will be coming back here. This is my first time coming here. And if you wanna see that video, make sure you're subscribed and I'll catch you next time.